Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Now we're going to focus on the TAFA and chart analysis for December 11th, 2021. And we are actually slightly up to date at 49,500 right now. However, we are still below the important marker of the 200 EMA. So right now, if we close the week at this particular point, it is still bearish for next week. However, if we close above um, 50, if we actually close above 50,060, we will be bullish for this week. So it is very, very close right now. We are just a couple of hundred points off from closing above the 200 EMA. And if you're into technicals, that is something you will want to watch. Now, speaking of the daily technicals, the RSI and the stochastic are neutral, but they are more nearing the oversold area. The commodity channel index for the first time is neutral. The average directional index is getting a little bit stronger, but as you can see, the RSI and the stochastic and the community channel index are no longer um, oversold. If they were all oversold and the directional index was very strong, that would be bad because that would uh, reflect a negative trend. But even though the directional index is getting slightly stronger, um, the RSI and the stochastic and the commodity channel index are all like neutral, so that's pretty good. The awesome oscillator is actually a little bit higher, even though it's still negative than yesterday. So it looks like we're actually settling down right now. As for the exponential moving averages, on the daily, it's definitely telling you to sell. Um, the exponential moving average for the 10 though, is greater than the simple moving average for the 10, which means we might be seeing a shift in momentum. But however, since the current price is still lower, then the EMA, um, we are still kind of bearish right now. Uh, for the 20, the exponential is lower than the simple and we're lower than that, so it's bearish. Uh, for the 30, um, same thing. For the 50, it's the same thing. For the 100, it's pretty much the same thing. And all the way down to the 200 where the EMA is actually greater than the SMA. Uh, but we're still below the EMA. We need to be above the EMA for a long-term bullish outlook on the daily. So right now, that is the important uh, point, 50,060. On the weekly, we are pretty much neutral on the oscillators. Nothing much has changed there. Um, on the moving averages, there is a lot of sell on the moving averages. The exponential for 10, the EMA for 10 is less than the SMA for 10, and we're lower than the EMA for 10. So that's definitely a sell, that's definitely a sell on the 10 weeks. On the 20 weeks, the EMA is actually greater than the SMA only slightly, so we might actually be getting a turn there, but we're below both the EMA and the SMA, so overall it's still a sell. 30 becomes very different. Um, the EMA is actually much greater than the SMA, and we're very, very close to the EMA and above the SMA, so 30 is kind of like conflicted. It actually could be sort of a buy on the 30 weeks, but that's going back like half a year or more. 50 weeks is a buy, 100 weeks is a buy, but 100 weeks is not really worth considering on the weekly. So the moving averages are neutral, but if you're actually looking at the 10 or 20 weeks, maybe for the rest of this month, it looks like it's a slight sell. Um, however, since the since the uh, hash rate is actually at an all-time high, it's confirmed that the hash rate's at an all-time high now, that actually may not be true, and we could pop up before people expect it. On the one month, um, the indicators are neutral, but the moving averages are actually positive. We're above the 10-month EMA. Uh, we're above the 20-month EMA, the 30-month EMA. The 10-month EMA is the only one you really want to look at because that's like at least for this year. You don't want to go back further than a year in crypto analysis. So the 10-month EMA is still well below where we are right now. We're about at the same place as the 10-month SMA. Um, but the EMA is lower than the SMA, so I wouldn't consider this a strong buy based on this. I would consider this mostly neutral compared to this for the rest of this month. Hopefully in January, February, this will actually turn around. But right now, being above the EMA for the 10 month is pretty good, but we're above, we're, but uh, we are actually below right now the SMA for this. Well, actually, no, we're slightly above the SMA. It keeps on changing, but we're slightly above the SMA and the EMA. Uh, for the 10 month. So we are positive, but since the EMA is lower than the SMA for the 10 months, um, it could be a signal that the momentum is downward, shifting downward right now. Um, overall, like for the next couple of days and next couple of weeks, based on the indicators, I would be bearish. But however, like this is always, the hash rate is always hanging 
in the distance because hash rate kind of sort of dictates price because that's like the, the lowest amount the price has to be for Bitcoin mining to be profitable. Right now that line is about $37,000. So I do not expect Bitcoin to drop below 37,000, at least not for more than a couple of minutes. It could flash crash and bounce back up. I think the likelihood is still at 42,000 if we do drop and we do liquidate, but there is a good chance that we'll break past 50,000, especially if we actually close this weekly candle above 50,000, then I kind of expect ne next week to be bullish. So the weekly close is very, very important in terms of the technical indicators right now. Fundamentally, nothing much has changed. The SEC has said that Bitcoin and Ethereum are not out of the loop yet uh, due to the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Ripple case. I do think Bitcoin is safe. Ethereum might be in a little bit of trouble and that would actually shake up DeFi definitely. But since everything else moves according to Bitcoin, I don't expect that to affect Bitcoin that much because they can't really go after anyone for Bitcoin. I suppose they can go after Craig Wright, but I think even the SEC knows that that's kind of pointless because he's not actually Satoshi. Um, so there's not a central authority they can actually go after for a BTC. So I'm not really sure if that'll actually affect it. I can't see them coming down on BTC, but I can see them coming down somewhat on ETH. And that actually might affect ecosystems as well. So you need to look forward to that and be wary of what's going on there. That is a case that that is news that's not really being publicized too much right now because people aren't uh, weary of it. But that lawsuit's probably going to drag on for you know, a good amount of time right now. But the hash rate being at pretty much an all-time high for Bitcoin indicates that Bitcoin will actually move up in the next two to three months at least. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.